and welcome to rainy Detroit, Michigan, where we are taking a look at the brand new Western Star 57X. Today we're going to show you how it drives, everything that's new about it, and we're gonna see how hard is it to actually drive because I'm not Andre, I don't have a CDL. If you don't already know, Western Star is a commercial truck manufacturer based out of Oregon that's been producing these big trucks for the last 55 years. And this new 57X is the replacement for their 5700 XE, which is an on-highway 18-wheel semi-truck. This new model can produce as much as 2,000 pound-feet of torque and tow up to 80,000 pounds. So today we're going to drive it on a closed course. And you guys just came out with this beautiful new 57X, which I have to imagine is not an inexpensive product. First time driving a semi is a hell of a semi to be driving. There's tons of options with this new truck. Uh, different powertrain choices, DD13, Gen 5, DD15, Gen 5, DD16. Um, and it makes sense to have multiple powertrain applications for different power output needs. But what are some of the uh, reasons that you might pick a certain type of brake versus another or a certain type of suspension? It all comes down to, to preference. Customers uh, have been doing this for a long time. They know what's best for their application or their business set. So we aim to have the options available to, to allow them the flexibility to maintain familiarity within their, within their fleet. And that really helps with uptime and, and ease of service. This is pretty cool. So you said we're about 78,000 pounds loaded yeah, up Yeah, we're right going to be right about 78,000 pounds loaded up here. Without a commercial driver's license, I'm only able to drive this rig on Western Star's own closed course here in Michigan. And thankfully this truck isn't manual because driving a manual semi truck is a completely different animal from driving a manual car or pickup truck. But working with a 12-speed DT12 automated transmission and a 14.8 liter DD15 Gen 5 diesel engine, this semi pulls weight along the road as easily as any truck and trailer out there. Even for a first-timer behind the wheel of a semi, there's very little to be confused about when it comes to just moving the truck. All you have to do to get on your way is release the air brake, switch into drive, and go. But of course, pulling almost 80,000 pounds is still a big responsibility that's not to be taken lightly, especially out there on a public road. And that's where a new system of safety tech called Detroit Assurance 5 enters the room. You guys have adaptive cruise control on this rig that takes you down to zero miles per hour and then it will resume moving again? Yes, and the Detroit team will, will walk you through that, but a little peek behind the curtain takes you to zero mile an hour and you're at a stop for two seconds or less, the vehicle will auto read punch. Okay. If you're at a complete stop or zero mile an hour for longer than two seconds, the driver taps the throttle and it will automatically resume. And then you guys also have uh, active braking assist. So if the car slams on the brakes in front of you and for whatever reason you're not able to apply the brake yourself, the semi truck will actually go into a panic stop on its own and at least attempt to stop itself. Yes, it will go into an emergency braking event. It does take all a course of action to warn the driver, to give the driver the opportunity to to, to take action, to, to brake on their own. Uh, we're taking this exit up here. You can you can do an, another lap here. Okay. And then uh, there's a, a bunch of other safety features, some of which are optional. So you can get what's called side guard assist, which can tell if there's a car next to you before you're changing lanes on your right side or if there's a pedestrian there. Your active braking assist is also able to tell if it's a pedestrian walking out in front of you and it can distinguish between that versus like a, a deer in the road that you might not want to have the truck do a panic stop for. Yes right? sir. Which the, is pretty impressive. The radar is calibrated. It looks at knee, elbow, and hip movement of a human being. So if the pedestrian is moving, it sees that knee, hip, and elbow movement as we're walking or riding a bicycle, um, it knows that it's a, it's a moving pedestrian. Right. Uh, one of the things I do want to talk about here is how easy is it to steer this vehicle? It's incredibly easy. I mean, this is my, my first time moving a semi-truck outside of just being in a yard. 
surprisingly easy to drive. So what you're experiencing is the active lane assist that is an optional feature okay. on the vehicle. So within active lane assist, there are, are two sub features. And the one that you're experiencing right now is the, the lane keep assist. So what, so what that's, you that's have is right you now. have an electrical servo over a mechanical steering gear. So that's why that steering wheel moves very easy. It's very, uh, it takes very little torque for you to, to move the steering wheel right or left or to hold those lanes. What, what an experience to have for the first time driving a semi truck because I'm sure this, this would just ruin me if I was to drive most any other semi truck on the road. I don't imagine that most of them have adaptive cruise control and a lane centering system, which is just an insane thing to feel on a vehicle this size, pulling this amount of weight, and you've got it helping you stay in the lane. It's, uh, yeah, it's a really impressive set of technology. This is the most advanced technology Western Star has ever built, and it has leveraged everything in the Daimler truck profile to bring that technology to market in a very, what I would call prestigious package. Thank you for letting me drive this. This is uh, a really amazing experience. Hopefully not too terrifying from your seat. Oh, you did great. <laughs> I appreciate it. The all-new 57X comes with a huge range of different options. Everything from a DD13 to DD16 diesel engine, all the way to natural gas powertrains and the option of a manual transmission. The truck also has four cab configurations, including a day cab, a 60-inch midroof, a 72-inch midroof, and a stratosphere cab. You can also spec everything from the frame thickness to different axle suspension and brake configurations, and of course different size def tanks, different size fuel tanks, so there's a ton that's optional, including a lot of the driver assistance technology, which may May not necessarily be every old school semi truck driver's cup of tea, so those things aren't necessarily part of the truck. One really nice bit of tech is the digital instrument cluster and infotainment screen in the center of the dash, and the center screen even has Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. The new body design shows a lot of similarities to the 5700 XE that this new truck replaces, but also better aerodynamics on the new truck and around a thousand pounds of weight reduction that make this new model more fuel efficient. In fact, Western Star claims almost 6% better fuel economy all around. Now there isn't any pricing information at the moment and the cost will vary massively depending on how this truck is configured, but it's safe to say that the new 57X definitely won't be cheap. Well there you have it, a first look at this brand new Western Star and a little idea of what it's like to drive there's an insane amount of technology going into these new semi trucks they're like passenger cars like nice luxurious passenger cars now so much technology and uh, really impressive thing to get behind the wheel of so let me know what you think down in the comments below and we'll catch you all in the next video